Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So today we are solving the second question of Lead Code by Weekly Contest 42. Name of the problem is Average Waiting Time. The problem statement is, there is a restaurant with a single chef. You are given an array of customers, so your customer I is the arrival time I and time I. So basically, arrival time is the time at which the customer is arriving and the time I is the time required to prepare the order for the i eighth customer. So the arrival time are in sorted order. So it is in non-decreasing order. So we don't have to sort it. When the customer arrives, he gives the chef his order and the chef start preparing it once he is idle. So it might be possible that uh, a customer arrived and the chef might not be idle. He, he might be preparing someone else's food. So uh, this customer which is arriving now will have to wait. The customer waits till the chef finishes preparing his order. So what we have to do is we have to return the average waiting time for all the customers. Okay. So in the first case we can see the first customer is arriving at the time 1 and it takes 2 minutes or 2 unit time to uh, prepare his order. Then the second one is arriving at 2. So when the chef start preparing he will be he will start at 1 and then he will finish at 3. So this one the first customer will have to wait for two unit time from one till three and meanwhile he's preparing the order for the first customer the second customer arrives at the time two and the chef will start preparing his order once he's finished with the first customer so he's finished with the first customer at time three then he will start preparing for this until then this will the second uh, customer will have to wait so for him the order will finish at eight time 8 and he arrived at time 2 so the total time for him will be 6 so this way we have to calculate the average waiting time for all the customers so what we can do is we can keep a timer this is our timer t now this is our clock and each time we are going to increment this clock so let's see how we are in going to increment it so first of all we will go to each of the customer one by one let me name this as c okay so what is the time now? So the time will be t, the maximum of time, comma, a of 0. So it might be possible that the, uh, that the chef is idle in between. So it might be possible that the chef is idle from t is equal to 0 till t is equal to 1. As we saw in the first case, that the first customer is arriving at t is equal to 1 and from t is equal to 0 till t is equal to 1 the chef is idle so now we are going to increment the clock so now the clock will become 1 alright so it might be possible that the first customer is arriving at t is equal to 5 and then we set the clock as 0 and then we incremented the clock as the first customer is coming okay now the time will be incremented by a of 1 the a of 1 is the processing time of the customer that is arriving so it is the time which the chef is going to take to prepare his food so we have to increment this in our clock and now the waiting time so let me calculate the total waiting time so let us say this as total so total plus equal to the current time so this is the current time of the clock and minus the arrival time of this customer so this is the arrival time this is the difference so now we have the total waiting time for all the customers and we have to return the total divided by the total number of customers that is c dot size and it is given that it should be in decimals so the variable total let us take it as double here we have to convert it to double as well okay let us try to run this it is giving us correct answer let us submit it now and it got accepted so we are not using any extra space here the space complexity is big O of 1 that is constant space and the time complexity is big O of n where n is the number of customers that are arriving mm, it is because of this loop so it was a very simple problem we will solve the other problems in next videos. Do subscribe the channel if you want more such content. 
you can see that there are lots of playlists on our channel on different topics and it is sorted according to the companies in which they are asked and according to the topics as well you have a playlist of medium hard and easy and then you have problems such as this one the best time to buy and sell stock so there are four parts of this and we have covered all of them so this is it for the video if, if you like the content please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification to our regular videos